Hey everyone, Sir Terman here again, and today we're back with more Rune Terra gameplay. And today we bring you another wins giving deck. No lie, guys, I think this card is literally the best card of the new expansion, if not like top three. It's so crazy how much value you can get from Wednesgiving. It really gives me a lot of like vibes from timelines time. Except that you can do it multiple times in the same unit. So you can literally just build yourself up to like a big eight, nine or whatever cost to just finish the game. I do think that if Elder Dragon ever gets nerfed, who knows, since Riot is not doing a lot of balance changes anymore, this is going to be the next card that people are going to complain about because it's just so crazy. People are going to have to start playing like always slam up removal just to be able to deal with this so the idea with this version of the deck with bando city and the masia is that the masia gives us access to the silver wind vanguard right which and also gives us access to strikes the strikes are very important i keep it aside but the vanguard is cool because again you can transform it to a five drop you still have the risk with the fight with we transform it to a six drop with the winds giving and kind of go from there uh it's all about just the winds giving Transforming your units and going from there, we get to even to play the Altar of Unity here, which can make our units at least have enough stat lines. And that stat line actually carries over when it gets transformed with the Winds given. So it ends up becoming some really crazy units if you actually get to pull it up. So let's see how today's games go. If you like today's games, make sure to like the video below and subscribe to us. We post card game videos every single day. Enjoy the games, and I'll see you at the end for some Morgan tips and in depth breakdown. In this match, we're going against Mordekaiser and Sign. So it's going to be like trying to double up, you know, trying to get the Sign value. This car is so nuts. <laughs> this car is so nuts. Oh my goodness. Um, I'll keep the single combat as a way to punish like a Death Grasp, right? Okay, we got a second one. Maybe two of them are not necessary. Do we just drop the Nora down? Honestly, I'm down to drop the Nora down. If the opponent has a Soul Harvest, I'd rather eat up the Soul Harvest here rather than eat it up with the Suisu. It's not a Soul Harvest, right? Oh my goodness. Like, oh my goodness. I, I really do think Windscape. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, do your best. <laughs> I don't care. I actually don't care at all. Yeah, you know exactly what I'm going to do next then, right? It's going to be here. And have one of them transform. Risu, transform it again. Yeah, we'll go like this. Because this being a 4 drop means that right away we get a free 5 drop. Okay. I mean, this is this is kind of annoying, I guess. Yeah, that's kind of annoying there. Um. Oh, wait. It's a bird, right? Yeah, this is a bird. I mean, here is kind of tempting. It's really tempting, but it's too easy for them to have the removal for it, right? Way too easy for them to have the removal for them here. I guess I'll force it. I guess let's force it. We'll just go like this and just force him to have it. Yep, I'm going to force you to have it. I guess opponent is just gonna do it now. They have a death grass or a hay spike. If you don't have it, you're gonna get so punished. Oh, okay, so they don't have it. Alright, so now that me here it just gets me so much value. Jikes, 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 jikes. This is crazy. This is crazy actually. I wonder if it's actually correct to not. So the only way for them to remove this Mihira. Like, I actually wonder if it's correct not to play this Risu right now. And instead go here. And we're going to grab Blunders so that we can remove the Deathless from whatever the opponent has, right? Yeah, and honestly, I'm, I'm completely fine doing this. I guess if I do that, I don't have anything to transform here. But, uh, I might want to actually get an 8-drop instead of a 7-drop. Like, I might actually be okay with this. Because I feel like the 8 drops are more impactful than whatever you can get at the 7 drop point. So we'll keep the single combat just to be able to beat a Death Grass or a Hay Spike here. Like, I don't want to tap out. 
Oh, it's a glare? Okay, well, if the opponent's doing like this, then I can play Nora, right? I can play Nora and be okay. And I guess I just play Risu. Yeah, I just play Risu here. And I'll transform the Risu into a 6 drop. And then Netson will transform into an 8 drop. And uh, it's going to be a lot of fun here. I cannot believe we actually got this one here. That's cute. Oh. Um. Hmm. Remember that this still gets buffed, right? This still gets buffed. The elusive might actually be better than the overwhelm, though. Because again, he still keeps he still keeps the thing, right? So then we go. I guess we just go like this, right? I don't need to actually attack into it. Oh, the opponent's gonna play. Uh, the opponent's gonna play Mordecai, so right, and be able to get this and get two of them. But I mean, their board is gonna be too full. I'm just gonna go like this. I'm just gonna play for the elusive. Let you figure it out. Okay. So that's a little bit annoying. So the opponent plays Mordecai and gets another Jetty. Am I okay with this? I think I'm okay with this, right? We just play Morgana next turn. Yeah, I think I don't need Nora. I think we play Morgana next turn onto the uh onto the Mordecai sir, and we should still be okay. Yeah, we play Morgana into the Mordecai, so opponent gets another jetty. Big whoop. This Morgana is gonna be a 7-8 by the time all is said and done. Because if the opponent play, if the opponent plays Mordecai here, they're hoping that they could get the value with Mihira here, and they're not gonna get the value, right? Yeah, we just go like this. Boom boom. We're gonna get elusive, elusive. Get plenty of value. Um do I ever transform their storm cloud instead? Might actually make sense to transform this bad boy here. Hmm. <laughs> what is gonna have three, six, seven, eight? I'm gonna keep the mini team. It's gonna force the opponent to have to get rid of this mini team. So this is 12, right? This is 12. This is Lito here. This is 12, and this is 15. I don't need to attack, because the, the only thing is the death run, right? That's not only punish. But like, opponent has to find removal here, and we have the single combats to be able to still trigger this mini team. This mini team gives me like an alternate win condition. So they have to do the vengeance here instead of here. We could technically... Yeah, we can say okay. We can say okay for now. They're going to have to have a hay spike or a death grasp just to kill this mini team. And that's where the single combat comes into clutch. They don't have it. Cool. Uh, let's just play this landmark now since we have it. It lets us get a unit. And uh, we'll pass. This is gonna transform, and there you go. There goes your Mordecai. And then next thing we still have an elusive, and we still have four impact here. You're gonna have to have ruination, which then lets me just develop my bow with the banger. That's rough, buddy. That is very rough. <laughs> they get the mini -tier. That's cute. Yeah, you don't get the draw. Um, what are they killing here? I guess they're killing this. They can go like that. Yeah, we just go here. You're starting out? And that's the game, right? <laughs> yeah, like, opponent definitely had the second Mordecai, so as we expected. That's why I wanted to play on the death run. That's why I counted how much mana the opponent potentially had last turn. 
Uh, if they had 10, then obviously I was open attack, but I think I was open attack anyways once we had the mini T, so GG's. In this match, we're going against Ionia Hecarim. So, obviously, just need to kind of be... Try to defend myself. Although, I'm going to be honest, yo. I, I don't get wins given, I'm going to mulligan my whole hand. Without wins given, it's, it's, it's really tough. It's really tough. Yeah, like... I'm going to just lose anyways here, just because I don't have any early units. Right, with no Nora, no, no, no winds given. Okay, we got the winds given at least. I mean, that's not bad, I guess. I guess we can go Altar. We, do we just go three, four, five, and see what happens? Are we gonna, are we gonna lose before, before we do anything? Like, are we gonna make it to turn five? That's the question. That's the million dollar question. Okay, now that we have this instead, I think we just go here and then here, right? We don't need to play Altar anymore. Especially because it lets me pull the Challenger away. So that's not bad. Yeah, let's go here. Wanna should attack here? Yeah, dude. Oh, okay. I get it. You wanna get your value here? I, I understand. You wanna get your value, but uh, you're still gonna get punished, right? Um, Scout? It's not a bad Scout. Yeah, that's not a bad, that's not a bad, that's not a bad body at all. It's a pretty big body is the, is the benefit here, right? So it lets me go like this. I guess if I grab the Fury, probably would have been better as well. I'm scared of... I guess if the opponent plays their thing right now, I'd be okay with that. Yeah, let's go here first. I'm gonna keep this a blocker. I don't think I need to actually do anything else. Next, so we have enough for wins giving for plus pioneer, which I think might actually be pretty pretty dope. We just need to challenge the stupid shadow apprentice so that we're not dying to the elusives. Okay, and we need to do it now. What else is gonna have to start blocking here? Oh, that's a big body. Yeah, we'll go like this. We'll go like this, pull here. If opponent's not blocking, they're going down to two, and I'm completely fine with that. This is this has a lot of health, so it's gonna let us stay alive for a while. We could transform this guy or this guy, either way. Either way, we get the same value next turn with the wind skimming. Now, we also should have... We pulled the wrong way, by the way. We should have pulled the uh, the thing last. Because he let the opponent get the draw from the other guy. Um, might have to actually just have enough blockers. Okay, if the opponent plays Hector on here, they just get punished by the single combat, right? Or even just Morgana. Who makes sense to actually play the tenor just to have blockers? Hmm. Let's go here. Wait, isn't that crazy? Wait a second, guys. <laughs> Wait a second. Did we just did we just hit? We just hit the best car. So now I kind of just want to go like this. Now I kind of just want to go like this. We'll, we'll keep the blunder and then we'll just go second wins given. And with the tycoon, we just need to hit an overwhelm and that's the game. That's kind of crazy. When we have a second wins given waiting. Yeah, I'm okay with that, right? Am I missing something here? Yeah, I think I'm okay with that. We just block here, block here. We're actually healing. I mean, opponent goes back up to full life. That's cool. We'll go like this. We'll, uh, we'll take it or... I guess we'll give you the block. We'll, we'll have the space for the tenors next turn. We'll go like this, make this bigger and bigger. 
None of this really matter. I guess the Kallax gives me blockers. The Challenger could have been okay. We definitely want to play Tanner, I think. I mean, I guess I can just get another 7 drop here. To begin with. There you go. That's our Overwhelm. So that's a 20, 20 Overwhelm. And we also have the Impact. So this is 20 right there. And we have the impact to, like, even if the opponent blocks, this is exactly three more damage, right? So this would be 17 plus three, which is 20. But then we also have another attacker here. So the opponent just ends up losing. So we just, once we hit the Tycoon, we just need to find an Overwhelm. And I, I believe the seven drops have a lot of Overwhelm targets in there. So the chances of us getting there wasn't actually that low. Uh, there's another player called Lao where they actually made the calculations of your chances of hitting each, like, hitting, like, an Overwhelm depending on the cost uh, and i think seven costs and eight costs are some of the highest ones that has the most overwhelms or it might be six and seven costs i forgot but the benefit here is that again because the unit that i had there had already been transformed before it keeps the transform stats on the second time around right so again the moment that we hit this the game was already going to be over of course the healing also helped out a lot but yeah mr sexy is a little bit salty about it's just hitting an overwhelm here. <laughs> so, yeah, and we literally still have seven mana, so we still had enough to like play Terror, to have blockers, play, play Morgana, play single combat. We also have the Alleviator, which is gonna deal two damage to them, etc., etc., etc. So, GG's, my friend. Boom, boom, boom. We even end up a full life, by the way. But yeah. yeah. In this match, we've been against Jin and Jasuo. Honestly, I respect the opponent because I've been trying to make this deck work. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Every time I see this, I'm just like, Chef's Kiss. Oh my goodness. Best card. Best card in the game. Uh, I've been trying to make that deck work. Uh, hasn't worked out too well for me, unfortunately. You know what? I'm going to greet this out. I'm going to greet this out. Okay, we, we, we got it back, so I guess I'll just play it anyways. Okay, we literally got two of the cards that we mulligan right what back. You, yeah, we'll go ahead and take this out now. So that we don't have to worry about, like, a Nupple Fight next turn, right? So that way we don't worry about a Nupple Fight next turn. Um, I don't want to Wins Given the gift, though. Like, I want to save the Wins Given for bigger stuff. So it's kind of weird. I think I'm just going to drop Nora down. I'm gonna drop Nora down and force the opponent to have to give me a stun here. Yeah, I don't care. I don't care about the Mr. Root. If they don't give me a stun, at least I get the portal, which is gonna give me some blockers. We'll develop the wins given and get our thing. Okay. Um, maybe the gift makes more sense. If the opponent develops a unit here, I'm gonna go for the gift first. Okay, they didn't, so I'm just gonna play wins given. Because it's probably gonna be Jasper coming up soon, right? So that's why I was thinking maybe I played it maybe I played it that way so I could have like a way to you know deal with the jazz roll, but that's fine. We got we got our combo, right? We got our combo here, and that's really what matters. Uh I actually wanna keep access to the gentleman's tool. So that we could come we could combo it out with the other stuff. Okay. Yeah, so we just go resue here. And then we transform the Risu into a free sit drop while also having the Stone Cloud. Sure. It's fine. Still have to deal with this bad boy here. Um, tentacles? Tentacles versus Scar Mother versus Indra? I guess it's Carrots. I guess it's Carrots, right? We'll go like this. I'm waiting for the opponent to tap out to put, to put the stun here so that I can actually go for the single combat, right? Okay, so they did it, right? They committed for the stun. And now that they committed for the stun, we can actually strike the Jasuo. Here we go. So once they tapped out of the Nupple Fight, it made it easier for me to actually strike that Jasuo. So we go here, 
That's quote unquote two gas was gone. Now technically one of them goes back to their deck so they can redraw it, but still. Um we can technically use it on this guy. Or we can use it on this guy. I don't know yet. I don't know which way I want to do this. Stormcloud or Carrots? I guess we'll do it with the Carrots, right? It's not it's not really like a win condition for us. King's Core? King's Core is not bad actually. Because now every unit that we summon is going to give us access to uh, the prize fight. And it's actually kind of crazy. And then we can just use the last version on this guy to get a 7 drop. Oh wow, yeah, I mean that's 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 cool with me, right? Am I missing something? We just go like this and grant this brush. Right? Yeah, because we grant this brush. Get rid of the gin with the pastry. Our performance begins. Oh, they're actually gonna attack into us. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, oh, I, I forgot about the gin skill. <laughs> that was me, that was me. That was my mistake. That was my mistake. I completely forgot about gin skill being able to do that. Yeah, yeah. So I just completely forgot about it. That was my mistake. I was like, oh, why is he playing gin? So it had to be single combat. I, I, yeah, I forgot that Jin can actually kill my damage units, so that's why they did it that way, so that they could kill that bad boy there. Yeah, so we'll go like this. We'll play another Nora, play the Vanguard, and do our thing. I completely forgot about that. that that's my mistake. That's my mistake. Yeah, we'll go here. That gives me double price fight. And then we transform one of the vanguards and get value that way. We're gonna have brash, etc. etc. How do we worry about uh Riptide Reds, right? Yeah, because we could have killed Jin last time, by the way, by just going pastry price fight, right? I just because the pastry is a slow speed. So that would have literally just won me the game. I just completely forgot about Jin being able to like the uh <laughs> actually dealing like dealing two to all stun enemies right with a belly flourish maybe i do have a future so the road takes me i'm gonna go here hmm. the elusive lets me have a technically win condition this is interesting, but I don't think I want the random spells. Maybe we just go Cadrigan and just have a big body in the field. He also he also gives me a card that can actually attack, that can actually have the single combat, right? So again, we're just gonna wait for the opponent to tap out, and then we're gonna single combat the Jaswell. So I want the opponent to give me the stun here. And once they commit for the stun, then we can respawn with single combat and kill their second Jasper of the game. They don't even bother. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So I guess by doing it that way, when he's telling me like, hey. Yeah, we'll go like this. Let's just level up Morgana. Might as well. Now, the problem here, of course, is... The opponent can just stun anyways. Opponent will be able to kill this king's core, right? At the beginning of the turn. I think we still do it. I think we still slap it. Force the opponent to give me a deny or an upper fight here. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. So, opponent quote unquote played around it, but again, we still have this single combat. And the opponent still at 3 HP, right? So, Morgana and the Elusive will be enough to get us there. Yeah, they also don't get the kill of the King's Court because the thing was sleep. Yeah, and we get another prize fight. We play Morgana, and we should be okay. They cannot even attack into my Cadrigan, which is why which is why I value that. Yeah, they have to deal with Morgana right away, so they're gonna have to have the three mana stun. At last, I have That's a good stun, though. Yeah? So we just single combat, right? 
Yeah, we just single combat to keep the to keep her alive. We have a gentleman's duel as well. Even if the opponent has an upper five, they cannot deal with both. So they're gonna sleep it. So then we go like this. Technically, I guess I should have just played Morgana and just won with Morgana, huh? Yeah, I should have just probably won with Morgana, because Morgana deals the two to the enemy Nexus. <laughs> yeah, I could have just played Morgana after the pack and just won that one, right? So, GG's. In this match, we're going to be against Gangplank and Swain. So, obviously, it's an aggressive deck. The Pythos is huge. We get our wins given. Uh, the Pythos is huge because it lets me stop their one drop here. Right? So if the opponent has a one drop, we can just pie toss it. Meaning that, yep. Yeah, that's why I kept it. That way the opponent doesn't get to trigger their, their GP ability. Then we go gifts next turn. Yeah, we go gifts next turn, which makes it aqua for whatever they summon next. Okay. So we go like this. And then whatever they summon here gets a little bit of uh, punish, right? Honestly, what if we just press OK? I'm not opposed to that. I'm not opposed to pressing OK here. Another wind skinning. Do we ever just... Okay, I I'm gonna play the wind skinning. You know that. <laughs> you know I'm gonna play the wind skinning. I don't have to transform this guys, right? Anytime soon. We get Nora. That's cute. I don't want to play the second gift. I think I like. I, I think I like playing them one at a time. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate, my friends. Uh, we'll go like this. Do I, I don't want to transform it, right? I mean, yeah, let's go like this. Let's have the opponent block it, and we'll play a second one. So I guess the opponent was just waiting to do that. Their GP is just a 1 out of 5, right? Yeah, we'll go here. I guess I should have played this first. I did forget about the Shell Shocker. Obviously, the opponent had a 1 drop because that's why they were playing it that way. We'll let them kill this and we'll just play Risu. I'm down to block this. Yeah, I'm down to block this and just play Risu, to be honest. Okay. Nice, nice swing. Nice swing, my friend. My friend. Yeah, with the double wind scheming, this is kind of crazy. Yeah, because now I can just transform this stuff. And all I need to do is get to my Atakan. And we will be okay. I will go ahead and do it on this one first. It's a nice challenger. It's a very nice challenger, friends. Yeah. Let's go here first and just transform one of these. And then we challenge, challenge. Oh, okay, okay, okay. They have it, they have it. So if that's the case, we're still gonna challenge, challenge, I think. So I'm gonna just transform this bad boy. It keeps the impact, by the way. So it keeps the impact. <laughs> we'll go Citria. I guess it gives us more damage. Sure. Yeah, we'll go like this, like this. Get rid of the swing. Still keep stuff active. This is nine, three. Didn't need to actually pull this. I guess I wanted to pull it to stop, to, to push more damage with Citria, but it wasn't necessary. Nice elusive. I have my orders. Now, I do need to watch out for, like, the removal. So, that's one problem. <laughs> no, that what is going on? What is going on? So, this will go to 8. We can go... Oh, you know, what if we actually find the Atakan? What if we actually find the Atakan here? So, we just go like this. Transform the Enraged Fire Spitter. And then play another Wind Skimming on it. That's a good one. 
Or we can just go here now and just win the game from there. Yeah, I, I, I don't mind this little Eldred, actually. I don't mind this little Eldred at all. We can just go here. Uh, doesn't really matter. We're going to just transform it again. We want to get to we want to get to the uh, the 10 drop, right? We want to get to the 10 drop. So sure. The chances of us finding out that kind of not are not bad whatsoever. Okay. We can also just single combat that to be, to be honest, but I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. Let's go here. I want 10 drop. I want 10 drop. There's not that many Atakans. Wait, I can also just go here, right? Yeah, I guess I can just go here, right? This is also lethal. Opponent cannot block that. <laughs> yeah, opponent cannot block that, uh, that, that, that bad boy right here. Eldra is nasty against their deck, huh? Yeah. Even that's that's the thing with wins giving. It's so good that even when you drop multiple of it, it doesn't really matter. It just makes you stronger. So GG. In this match, even against the four game, we do play quite a few single combats, right? So we should be able to have a way to there we go, get rid of the Poro King. Uh we have the wins giving. Hmm. I do wanna find some earlier earlier stuff as well. I think with the Vanguard, I don't think I need the Mage Seeker. I think the Mage Seeker is going to be a little bit too expensive. Too too late, I guess. Uh, okay, we also get Nora now. That's pretty nice. So we can go Nora into Windsgiven and start transforming this Vanguard. It's a 4 cost, so that's the, that's the benefit here, right? That right away is going to become a free 5 cost. Now yeah, we go like this. Even if the opponent has the Elusive Blocker, we can just 5 cast her. They don't have it. They also didn't have thermal, which is huge, right? Because thermal have also been a problem. Okay. Um, we're gonna pack us this now so that we don't have to deal with the snacks next time, right? So just make it so that the Nora stays alive. So if the opponent has the snacks here, they can do their thing. So we got wins given. Oh, we got the okay, that's a that's a great hit. <laughs> that's a great hit because that just fits to another portal. Yeah, we'll go here into Bangar and then get a transform there. I definitely don't want to transform this one, right? I feel like I want to keep this as it is. Yeah, I want to keep this as it is. I want to just get a ballot from the Bangar. And we have Risu next time too, okay. Ironically, we actually have too much. We Our board space is going to be too full, right? If the opponent has a poro snacks, we don't want to drag the plucky poro. I'm here in Jana's name. Yeah, we'll go like this. Poro slap. Probably the best one, right? He also kind of levels up our Nora pretty quickly. Uh, yeah, it, can, it, it helps us level up our Nora pretty quickly. Oh, why am I not attacking with this? We'll go like this. Yeah, I know it's gonna level up very quickly. No we'll have blockers for days. We'll have portals coming down. Yeah, this is the portal stance. That's why I pulled the party portal now while we had the chance. So that's exactly what we did it that way and why we didn't pull this one, right? So now we can go Risu and be able to transform the Risu into something else. We have two portals here. No one's gonna be at... Okay, I guess... Mm. I guess if the opponent plays... Okay, they didn't. I was gonna say, if the opponent plays their thing here, their uh, Poro King, maybe I would have been okay not doing that. Um, do I care about Nora? Honestly? Honestly? I don't think I care about Nora. Yeah, I don't think I care about Nora. I think I let her die, and then we just do our thing. Yeah, we transform this bad boy here into a sits drop. Okay. Not anything crazy. Then we can transform it into an A drop. Ooh, okay. Uh yeah, let's transform into an A drop. Let's find let's find something nice. Let's find something nice here. 
Hmm. So Eldritch makes everything tougher. Gives gives this tough as well. So yeah, we just go like this, right? Because now the Ember Maiden is gonna just slowly burn the opponent out. That's like a crazy hit in combination with the Ember Maiden, right? This is three impact. This is one impact. So the opponent is taking four, no matter what. And then the Ember Maiden is gonna punish them the rest of the way. You have to play a snack, otherwise your affectionate power is gonna lose. I'm not I'm not opposed to playing a second wind given and start buffing up this Bastaya. Yeah, I'm not opposed to going like this. So Oh, that's the Poro King. So I guess we'll go ahead and just play this single combat right now. As soon as we get rid of the Poro King, we should be okay. Yeah, this the Poro Snatch doesn't matter. I say that, but yeah, man, again, everything is just going to be so big, and this is going to make everything like, like, the make, the wins giving gives us some very interesting plays, right? So, GG's. Hey, welcome back, everyone. Hope you enjoyed today's games of Nora and Morgana, and you thought I was kidding, but like I said in the beginning of the, game, of the, of the video, this deck is crazy, and wins giving is crazy. You kind of get to see how every game is different, but every game you literally just find a win condition and an opponent can do anything about it. Like, it's so nuts. My mulligan is super simple. Just hard mulligan for wins giving. I don't care how good you think your hand is. Wins giving gives you your win condition. I guess having Nora is not bad, so maybe Nora... I'll, I'll kick Nora, but everything else, I'll kick. Everything else, I'm literally kicking. I want this wins giving no matter what. I want the wins given no matter what, right? We're only playing this one drops and this two drops kind of more like a defensive tool so that we're not dying too quickly. So like, I'm okay. I'm okay kicking those back and just looking for the wins given because it's just so crazy how much value you get from this once you get to play a silver win or a tanner or play like a Risu, right? Like these units that can give us two units. So you get to transform one of them and still have the other one available. And it just ends up becoming like super, super nuts. So yeah, I would recommend just, just have Mulligan for it every single time. After you have the wins given, it's pretty simple, right? Wins given us on three, and you can either play Altar on four, or if you have the Silver Wind Banger, you can just play the Banker on four. And that means that you can transform one of these into a five drop, which as you saw can be a lot of crazy value and you can challenge with the other banger. Or if you go wins given into Altar, you can play Risu on turn five and the Risu will come down as a five, five. And then you also get the seven, three. You can transform your, if, if I do have wins given an Altar, I actually don't think I transform the Risu. You actually transform the other, uh, the storm so that it becomes, cause the three impact is a Grante. So it's going to carry the impact through the other transforms, right? So you can transform it to a six drop that now also has triple impact and then transform it to a seven drop, etc., etc. right? Just remember that like a lot of your overgrowths are in the seven cost range. We can also hit the stupid, as you saw there, we can also hit the, uh, the Nidalee unit, the seven drop that makes you transform other things. And that can also be pretty freaking crazy, right? So usually you want to get your units to seven drop. Um, a drop is great as well, as you see, we do have the Eldre, but A drop is a little bit more situational, right? So I think I'd rather go for seven drops. So I'm down to go like use the uh wins giving twice on a five drop and then use the last effect of it on another five drop so that we can have two seven drops to kind of deal with the opponent. But yeah, that's the strategy, honestly, man. Like I can't tell you what else to do after that, because it's gonna completely depend on whatever unit you get from wins giving on how you try to finish up the game. I really like the access to the master because again the single combats are really really good as you saw in multiple games today allowing us to deal with the protein units that the opponent might have so it ends up being like really freaking crazy so yeah only not only that but the wind giving also heals your unit when it transforms so using single combat doesn't even feel that bad a lot of times either so but yeah anyways anyways that's gonna be it for us for today i hope that you enjoyed today's video if you did make sure to like it below and subscribe to us we post card game videos every single day. You can also find us on Twitch at Twitch at Tommy Stream every now and then. And you can also find us on Discord and Twitter. The links to those are both in the description below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all again tomorrow.